before I came to Michigan State, I've been here mm, about 10 years, um, I was a career officer in the Navy. I spent 20 years. Um, I worked all over, uh, I worked all over the United States. I uh, was stationed overseas. Um, and uh, I retired after 20 years and decided, well, I need to do something else when I grow up. And that I ended up at MSU. My generation w was the generation that were the leaders. We were the first women to go on board ship. I taught some of the first women that went on board ship. Uh, we were the trailblazers for our time period um, at right at the end of the Vietnam War. And um, so we always kind of had to make do and I feel an obligation to do for others that come behind us. If you look at the statistics, um, more and more women are joining the services. You know, you go into the VA and you don't necessarily have gynecologists to do the female things. You don't necessarily have the appropriate setup to do the things. Now the VA is working on it, but I think the VA can use a lot of help um, to make sure that we address things for all of our veterans. You go go to sea or you go to combat and you come back, there's a lot of readjustment and and it's hard for anybody, male or female, to readjust. But there's some cultural assumptions that we have as women or as a community as a whole that really I don't want to say I wanna say disenfranchises women. I mean I mean that's not quite the right word, but there's this whole soldier mentality. I'm a soldier so uh I, I can't be raped, or rape is a sexual thing. It's not, it's a power thing. There's a whole mythology behind rape. There's a whole mythology about women can't get PS, PTSD because they're not on a battle line. Well, hooey. Yeah, they can. Um, so there's a lot of cultural assumptions that have to be changed or educated. What we need to do is we know there are services, but we need to get the word out and connect it with today's veterans. Female veterans happens to be something that's real important to our executive chair, and again, that's something near and dear to my heart, so I went, yeah, I'll serve. <laughs> it's important to me. I, I, it has been and it will continue to be. Um, you know, information is power, and if we can get the information out, we can make everybody more powerful, and, and that's my position. It's nothing I want to keep, it's something I want to share.